my family. Now Carnival also collects, but Tina Brown has attacked Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, accusing her of somehow forcing Prince Harry to leave the UK. My family once again, more than four years later after Harry and Meghan fled the UK, role experts, or as we call them, carnival of so-called experts, are still complaining that Prince Harry fled the UK with Meghan and Archie. More than four years later. And Tina Brown has said that there is a Harry-shaped hole in the monarchy and that Harry needs to come back to the raw fold. Once again, as I've said, you can see and hear yourself. Carnival of so-called experts are getting even more and more desperate. The other royals in the UK don't sell papers. William and Kate are always on vacation. My family. Charles and Camilla don't sell papers. People just ain't interested in them. And that's a fact. Just look at how my family, we don't see international media outlets covering Charles and Camilla's tour to Australia. They're not seeing that. Because nobody cares. Nobody cares. However, if it's Harry Meghan, whether they go to Nigeria or Colombia, international media outlets cover it. You know? And yet, Harry Meghan are not taxpayer funded. Now, my family, I am so sick and tired of this ongoing narrative churned out by the palace and UK media and this carnival of so-called experts like Tina Brown who somehow paint Harry as someone who was deceived or my family manipulated into leaving the raw fold. Yet that wasn't the case. That is not what happened. My family, I'll tell you exactly what happened. But first, let me read you more on what Tina Brown has said my family. And I quote, now, Tina Brown says that I quote, that all of Megan's ideas are total crap. And think that Prince Harry is a naive lamb to the slaughter. You know? And my family, Tina Brown says that I quote, that of Harry's defection from the royal family in England, they are going to constantly make a career out of trashing Prince Harry. But actually, the thing about Prince Harry is that he's very good at being Prince Harry. And that is the tragedy, tragedy of all this, is that he is the most talented member of the royal family without doubt, in terms of being a prince, which is all he does know how to do. He is really sort of flawless at it. My family. Now my family, you can see there, Tina Brown has said glowing things about Prince Harry. And my family, everything here that uh, Tina Brown, my family, first of all, has said about Prince Harry, you know, it's true. UK Media make a living out of attacking both Harry and Meghan constantly. My family. And the fact is, Harry has always been better at everything. My family. Always. That's the truth and nothing but the truth. No other member of the royal family in the UK, who my family are tax funded, can relate to members of the public like Harry and Meghan can. No other member of the royal family can do that. No other. It is true. But for Tina Brown to somehow attack Meghan, my family, 
and then praise Prince Harry. First of all, this is part of what Andrew Loney, our old author, said. Is a strategy being employed by the palace to drive a wedge between Harry and Meghan. It is called the image manipulation strategy, my family. It is called the image manipulation strategy, my family. It's called the image manipulation strategy. Whereby the palace, using minions like Tina Brown and others, are trying to paint Megan as the villain of this story while praising Prince Harry. Or, you know, my family, you know, painting this narrative that Prince Harry is somehow a victim of Megan, who was deceived, my family. Which is not the case. Which is not the case. But all this is meant to drive a wedge between Harry and Megan. Whereby UK media are going after Megan with viciousness, attacking her, abusing her, treating her appallingly, saying disgusting things about her, while saying Harry is Prince Charming. And my family, we have seen this strategy being employed and used even more over the past couple of weeks. And my family, that's how you even know more that the palace is getting more desperate. The Tuki media are getting more desperate. They want Harry back in the raw form. And there is nothing they won't do to my family achieve that. They are desperate. Harry is the one who sells paper. My family sells, who sells papers. And Tuki media don't want to wait another 10 or 18 years to have access to the future generation of my family royals, my family, William's kids, or my family, Harry and Meghan's kids. They don't want to wait the next 10 to 15 years. They don't want to wait. And no wonder you're seeing how desperate they are for Prince Harry to be back in the UK, to be back in the royal fold. My family, you know? And my family, I always remember the words of Tina Brown while she was promoting her book, her memoir, which was fed my family narrative with the palace because for sure, Harry and Meghan do not talk to her. I remember how she said that Prince Harry and Meghan should end all their commercial deals. Actually, she asked Prince Harry, not Meghan. She said that Prince Harry should end all his commercial deals because Charles is ready and willing to provide and pay Harry's bills. Yet I remember very well how Harry was mocked in the Oprah interview when he said his father had cut him off. And then people would say, you know, Harry, go get a job. My family, which he did. My family, he did. Prince Harry now works a better up. And my family, he has made millions. My family, in Netflix, my family, and also from my family, you know, his memoir, Spare. Harry has made millions. And my family, and yet despite all of this, despite the millions Harry, my family, has made, despite how UK media mocked Harry when he said he was cut off, telling him to go get a job, Pay your own bills. Stop depending on your father. Despite Harry saying that. That he was cut off. Now, the same people who mocked him for saying in the Oprah interview how his father Charles had cut him off are the same ones who are telling him, Harry, 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 Harry. Go and beg your father for money. Your father is ready to pay your bills, to provide for you. Same people who mocked him when he said he was cut off are the same ones who are telling him, Harry, Harry, your father is willing and ready to pay your bills. Just end all your commercial deals and go back to the raw fold. Go back to the UK. Go back to people who my family couldn't care less if Harry, Meghan, Archie were safe. When Giles ordered 
for Prince had to be stripped off of his security. To a father who abused Harry's wife, my family, yet even if Harry did not like that Charles and Camilla were dating and then got married, my family, how, how Camilla put my family, you know, you know, his mother, Harry's late mother through so much suffering because of her affair with Charles, despite all that, Harry in spare said, even though he did not want for Charles to marry Camilla, he still wanted his father to be happy. However, when Harry found love, who have been the people who've been so desperate to try and destroy that Charles and William? My family. And now, Tina Brown has been saying that, you know what? Harry should end all his commercial deals because Pa is ready and willing to provide for Prince Harry. Because if Harry is dependent on Pa for money, it means UK media also can have access to him. It means UK media can also have access to his kids. It means... That my family, UK Media, would have succeeded in the goal of forcing Harry back into the rawfold, into the gilded cage. Whereby Harry was never ever supposed to leave my family. Remember, the abuse and the attacks were only meant to make Meghan leave, not Prince Harry. And the abuse and attacks that continue being waged mostly towards Meghan, are still meant to make her leave Prince Harry. My family, you know, Tina Brown now attacks Meghan and says this and I quote, the Meghan, you know, Meghan, about Meghan, I think that Prince Harry is pretty much in the thrall of Meghan. And the trouble with Meghan is that she has the worst judgment in the world of anyone in the world. And that she's flawless about getting it all wrong. She really is, says Tina Brown. My family, someone should ask Tina Brown, how many times have you met Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex? You know, most of the carnival, all so-called experts who attack Meghan have never met her. In fact, one of their, the reasons as to why they are so angry and they were so attacking of Megan is because they were never ever allowed to even meet her. And you know who did not allow members of the Royal Rota to meet Megan? Prince Harry. Prince Harry. He's the one who did everything in his power to keep Megan away from these people. People like Tina Brown. People like you know, Arthur Edwards, who's always mourning, oh, Harry, it'll be so nice if you come back to the UK. You know, we miss you so much. We miss you so much. In here, Harry, you, you are everything here. In here, you are everything. Come back, Harry. Come back, Harry. That Arthur Edwards, the family, who attacks Prince Harry's wife, and then says, Harry, I love you. Tina Brown also, my family, says glowing things about Prince Harry, and then attacks his wife, and then says, the Harry will care for you. Harry, come back to the come back to the fault. These people have no good intentions towards Prince Harry or Harry himself or Harry's family. They don't. They don't. They don't. They just want to break and destroy Harry's own family and Harry's own marriage, which I hope they never succeed. My family. Tina Brown says that Megan gets it all wrong. How? How? How did a brown? How? You know, how does Megan get things wrong? How? Let's hear more on what this person, my family, is saying. And I quote, that Tina Brown says of Megan that Megan is a perfectionist about getting it all wrong, says Tina Brown. And that her issue is that she doesn't listen and that she has all these people ask them the opinion and then doesn't follow it and that Megan does what she wants to do and that all of her ideas aren't good says Tina Brown Tina Brown 
I'm assuming that maybe, just uh, maybe perhaps, you know, you have, um, how can I put this? I'm assuming that Tina Brown, that maybe, you know, you have worked for Megan. No, oh, wait, you haven't. Tina Brown, you have not worked for Megan. You have no idea how it's like to work for Megan. You don't know how it is like to work for her. You don't know, Tina Brown. You can only know how it's like to work for Megan if you have worked with her. Tina Brown, have you done that? No, you have not. No, you have not. You have not worked for Megan and neither have you worked with Megan. In fact, I'd be concerned if Megan has someone like Tina Brown anywhere around her. I'd be very concerned. I might even end up writing an email, my family, Megan's team, and say, Megan, you have someone who is working in your midst who does not wish you well. So Megan, please take care of yourself. Please be careful. My family. I'd even write an email to Megan to say that. My family. If I find there that my family email account. But my family, it is very, very clear here. My family. That Tina Brown has no knowledge of what it's like to work with Megan, my family. And the fact that she's pretending to know how it's like to work with Megan, how things my family are, you know, working for Megan, she has no idea. Remember, UK Media have created this narrative that Harry and Meghan, most of Meghan are difficult to work with. Because Harry and Meghan refused to work with them. You know, remember I told you all this very, very important thing here. Prince Harry is the one who did not allow carnival of so-called experts to be around Meghan. Multiple carnival of so-called experts have said that they asked the palace if they could meet Megan. If they could have a meeting with the person that they were abusing. Prince Harry did not allow any of them to go anywhere around Megan. If Harry had told Megan to have a sit down with the carnival of so-called experts at Daily Mail, at the Mirror, at the Sun, who are abusing her. That's what Meghan would have done if Harry had told her to. But Harry was the one who kept Meghan as far away as possible from these individuals. You know? But do you know who they blame for that? They blame Meghan. You know? Harry has no blame. They blame Megan for everything. It is Megan's fault. My family. And that makes me sick. My family. That really, really just um, makes me sick. My family. See what they are, my family doing. You know? My family, you know, Tina Brown says my family of Harry's worldview that Prince Harry is so naive and that really unschooled in the ways of the world. And that being Prince Harry means that I doubt if he's ever booked a table in a restaurant. Once again, my family, they are trying to undermine Prince Harry. You know? They are trying to paint Prince Harry someone who my family can never ever depend on himself. That he needs his father to pay his bills. That he needs the whole family to help him even do such small things like my family, you know, booking a reservation at a restaurant. And my family, how they perceive Prince Harry is something that also personally, I just can't stand. I can't stand. I can't stand it one bit. You know? And my family, the thing is, how Harry was raised. He was raised to be dependent on my family Pa, his father. He was meant he was really dependent on the my family institution to pay his bills. My family. 
That's how Hardy was raised. And that's why these people can't understand really how it's been five, it's, my family, it's close to five years now, whereby Harry and Meghan have been fending for themselves, paying their own bills in the midst of an ongoing smear campaign that is meant to destroy them. These people, what they can't do, they can't understand that. They don't understand how is it possible that Harry and Meghan have been paying their bills for far too long. How is it possible? How, how can this happen? Because they never ever expected that Prince Harry and Meghan, after stepping back as senior members of the royal family, would be successful outside of the institution. They never ever thought that that would happen. But that is what has happened. My family, that's what has happened. When you see these people complaining, just know that Harry and Meghan are doing the right things. Because you can't say that life in the Rofo was perfect, amazing for Prince Harry. Yet even when Harry had not even met Meghan, he wanted to leave. My family, you know, money has always been used as a tool by members of the royal family in the line of succession to control those who are lower in the line of my family succession. And that's why I've been saying it is so important for Harry and Meghan to continue paying their own bills. That way they are never at the mercy of either William or Charles or Camilla or Kate to pay their bills. My family have been very, very clear. My family on that. I've been very, very clear. You know, my family on that. You know, it's important for both Harry and Meghan to continue earning a living and paying their own bills. And it's no wonder why you see UK Media targeting Harry and Meghan's business ventures. Because they hope that if all the deals end, then maybe Harry will now come back to beg power for money. It's all about making Harry, you know, become a beggar. A beggar who is begging his father for money. After the struggles that Harry faced, my family. Challenges he faced after Charles cut him off. I don't think for a second Prince Harry would ever want to go through the same thing. By ever making himself be at the mercy of Charles for money. I, 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 I just don't see that happening. I don't. I don't. You know, I don't. My family. Now, Tina Brown says that the army was great for Prince Harry. And that he was extremely good and competent in there. And that that really helped turn him into a real person. But with Meghan, Harry is the lamb to the slaughter in this situation. And that he was terribly impressed by Meghan. And that he thought that Meghan knew all. And that she, Meghan, persuaded Prince Harry that she was the savvy Hollywood wheeler dealer who could come in and make them stars and all the rest of it. Nonsense. Tina Brown, what you're saying is nonsense. And what you're doing is spreading mis and disinformation about what truly happened. Because you want to control the narrative. You know, I, I, I think... I'm so happy, so happy that Prince Harry and Meghan have been able to share the story. Because it is easier to debunk these lies being spread by liars like Tina Brown who are acting and spreading this nonsense on behalf of William and Charles. I am thankful for Harry's Mama Spear. I am thankful for the documentary. I am thankful for the Oprah interview. Because I can quote to you Harry's very own words in the documentary. And I quote what Harry said. Megan did not ask to leave. I repeat. Megan did not ask to leave. It is Prince Harry who saw what was happening to Megan with the abuse, the insults, the attacks, harassment, hounding, racism, which was also 
being my family directed towards his and Megan's son, Archie. And Harry said, we are leaving. Harry is the one, once again, who made the decision to take Megan and Archie and flee the UK. Harry was the one. I repeat, Harry was the one. I know that UK media constantly like to blame everything on Megan because they, the abuse that they waged towards her, the abuse that they subjected Megan to was meant to make her leave. I understand why they blame her for her leaving because my family, they thought that she was the only one who would leave. What they never ever expected was that Harry would leave with her. That's obvious. That's obvious. We know that, my family. We know that. But the thing is, Harry already has said, Megan never ever asked to leave. Even despite the abuse, the racism that she was experiencing, the racism that she was being sub to by UK media and even by senior members of the royal family. If I all that, Megan never asked to leave. However, Harry was the one who saw what's happening and said we are leaving. He was the one who made the decision. Stop blaming Megan for Harry leaving. And stop painting Prince Harry as someone who was, you know, manipulated or deceived by Megan. He was not. He was not. As a husband, he saw his wife being abused and stood by his wife's side. I know that's alien in the royal family. Whereby husbands support their wives. Uh, I know it is something which is alien, unheard of in Britain's royal family. You know? I know it is unheard of. I even remember in spare what Harry told us about, uh, you know, after he issued a statement condemning racism towards Megan. You would think that a brother, your brother and your father would be so proud of you, my family. Your brother having values, having morals, condemning racism. You would think that your father and brother would be so happy and proud of you. Do you know what William and Charles did? They attacked Prince Harry. How dare you defend Megan? How dare you? You know? That's what they say to Prince Harry, my family, and they attacked him instead of praising him. My family, while we, members of the squad, you know, praise Prince Harry for protecting Megan and also condemning racism towards, you know, Megan, towards my family, his kids, towards my family, others. My family, while we praise him, senior members of the royal family were telling Prince Harry, Harry, how could you? You know what? We were never able to protect our girlfriends. So then, why should you? Why are you doing it? My family, say Charles and William to Prince Harry. My, my family, I am thankful. I am so thankful for, 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 for Prince Harry. You know, how he has protected his own family, Megan, Archie, Lady Petana, and how he continues to do so. I am thankful and I hope he never ever, my family, you know, stops doing what he's doing. You know, I hope he keeps on protecting Megan, Archie, and Lady Petana. I hope he does. I hope he does. I hope he does. My family. In fact, my family even pray he does. And my family, when you look at, you know, what's going on my family here. When you look at my family at what is going on my family here. What Tina Brown is saying here is that for as long as Harry is with Megan, he is the lamb, my family, who is my family being sent to the slaughter. Whereby my family, as Tina Brown family is saying here, my family, she's saying that in England, they are making a career out of trashing Prince Harry because he's with Meghan. My family, first of all, let me just say this kindly. You know, uh, there's a saying that goes like this, that never allow the farm you come from destroy the family that comes from you. And whether Tina Brown likes it or not, Harry's family is Megan, it is Archie, and it is Lily Petana. That's Harry's family. That's Harry's family, whether Tina Brown likes it or not. That is Harry's family. Archie, Lilibet, and Megan. Whether Tina Brown likes it or not. 
And uh, my family, you know, Harry's family should be always his number one priority. But time and time again, we see, the, we see how Wikimedia are disgruntled, are upset that they asked Prince Harry to choose between Meghan and them, people who bully and abuse him and his wife, and Harry chose Meghan, his wife Meghan and his son Archie. And they are pissed off, they are angry about that. Because they thought that Prince Harry would pick people who bully his wife Megan and, you know, his son over his own family. You know? Like what the other senior members of the royal family would do, prioritize themselves. Remember, even for Charles himself. My family, Charles, was happy to feed both Harry and William to the walls in exchange of getting good press for himself. He would feed his own sons to my family, the UK media, in exchange of getting good press himself. My family. Look at William. William, we have seen how my family, after, I know even the, 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 the backlash of the Kate Mother's Day photo, my family. Who did William blame for that? He blamed his wife. And if it's true that Kate, my family, allegedly had cancer, then my family is cruel to, for him to have blamed my family, his wife, for that, uh, you know, fake photo scandal of my family. Or that fake photo posted on Mother's Day of my family Kate and the kids. It was cruel for William to put all the blame on Kay Moulton. But that's what he did. So my family, it is alien for members of the royal family I know. Windsor men to love their wives. It is alien. I understand it is my family, you know, alien. It is, they don't understand how can someone love their wives like this. I know that they don't understand. My family, it was foolish for you, Kimia, to think that Harry, uh, a son, a father, who has suffered for so long, ever since his mother was hounded to her death, would just sit there and watch as UK media do the same thing to his wife and son. It, is, it was foolishness for you to even think that. It was foolishness. Because there's no way Prince Harry will stay idle and just watch as they tear apart his wife. There's no way. They, there is no way. There's no way. And Prince Harry chose to speak up and my family put his family first. And I'm happy that that's what Harry did. You know? My family, you know, no, Prince Harry you know, Meghan did not tell Prince Harry, Harry, if we leave the raw fold, you and I can become Hollywood stars. No, my family, first of all, you know, let me say something here. How many times have you seen Meghan and Prince Harry going to red carpet events with the, my family, you know, Hollywood stars? Have you even seen Harry and Meghan going to the Met Gala? Have you seen that? You know, my family, if what even Tina Brown is saying is true, that Megan somehow, you know, told Prince Harry, if we leave here, we're going to be super duper Hollywood stars, you know. My family, if it's true, then you would think that Megan would want to be my family at the Met Gala. You would think that Megan and Harry would want to be my family, you know, um, attending my family the Emmys or the Oscars. My family, we're not seeing that. We are not, my family, seeing that. I even remember that after, you know, the SPs, at the SPs, when Prince Harry was receiving the Party Man Award for service, I remember vividly that right after Harry received the family's award, he then left my family before the my family event was over. You know? My family, if Harry Bacon wanted this so-called Hollywood life that uh, my family, UK Media, you know, Constantly, like to my family, claim you would think that Harry Meg and my family will be going to the Oscars, the my family, you know, Met Gala. The thing is, I myself would love to see Harry Meghan there. The thing is, they don't do that. They don't. They don't. They don't. Because to me, I have seen that in a, in as much as Harry Meghan do like to work, my family, and my family do. You know, charity work with them that they love to do so much. 
in as much as they love that so much. They value their privacy. They value their privacy. They value their privacy. They only come out my family when they're doing my family, you know, you know, work, my family, or you know, my family an event whereby they've been invited to my family attend an event. That's when you can see my family, you know, Harry Megan out and above mostly my family. That's when. You know? So my family, Megan did not tell Prince Harry, oh Harry, you know what? We are going to be great Hollywood stars. Megan never ever told Harry that. In fact, my family, based on my family, Harry's very own words. When he and Megan fled the UK, they had no idea what they were going to do. My family. They just wanted to be free. To be away from their abusers and bullies, UK media. My family. In fact, even in the, docu in the documentary, for example, in the Harry Megan documentary, Megan had seen jealousy that senior members of the royal family had because she was always on the front pages of multiple my family tabloids. And Megan said, okay, fine. Harry and I are leaving. Then you all can be, can be on all the front page covers you want to be on. And my family, you know, even after Harry and Meghan have fled the UK, you know, the thing is, Harry and Meghan are still, my family, ending up on the front pages of multiple UK, my family tabloids, who refuse to let Harry go. Who refused to accept that Prince Harry fled the UK and picked Megan and Archie over them? You know, my family. They refuse to accept that. My family, you know, Megan and Prince Harry. After Charles cut off Prince Harry, Harry and Megan family had to go and look, you know, and get family a job, get work. And thanks to the deal with Netflix. Harry and Meghan have been able to pay for their security, my family, and pay their own bills. And good, my family, on Harry and Meghan. My family, good on them, my family, good on them. You know? My family, you know, this will make you look like Harry and Meghan somehow had a, had a plan, had this grand master plan. My family did not have any, my family kind of plan. They did not. They did not. You know? You know, somehow, Tina Brown then says that somehow, you know, Megan, you know, on Megan's moves, she says and I quote that, unfortunately, Megan has made every mistake in the book. You know, and that she has kind of run out of road. And that she doesn't know where Megan goes. And that Prince Harry could still, as I say, make a comeback. again my family if harry and megan do indeed separate god forbid their spare is destroyed if uk media have their way it means that they have succeeded in destroying the spare's life if they destroy his marriage if they break apart and destroy harry's home his family they succeed in destroying the spare my family honestly I don't want that to happen. And my family, I hope that that never ever happens. Because clearly, that's the intention that UK Media and my family have with their smear campaign and constant attacks towards Megan in particular. You know? My family, and then Tina Brown said that Prince Harry will always be Prince Harry. And that he'll always be the grandson of the Queen and the son of Diana. And that he can make a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> they are really desperate to get Harry back to the UK. Very desperate, my family. Very, very desperate to have Harry back in the rough world. Very, very desperate. But for Megan, they know she ain't coming back. She ain't coming back. And, and no wonder you see Megan, my family, you know, you know, my family engaging in entrepreneurship. It's for Harry the same days away back. But for Megan, my family, for her in particular, just to work and work and work and pay her own bills. My family and fun for her own lifestyle she must never ever be dependent on charles for anything also prince harry also prince harry my family you know tina brown says she doesn't know where megan goes megan will live her life 
as far away from you lot as possible. You know? And she lived her life with her kids. With Archie and with Lily Beth Dan and my family and also her husband, Prince Harry, who was always shown through actions. He always protect his family. My family. You know? And my family, you know, it, my family, is very clear that this narrative of Harry is somehow an innocent child who has been deceived or my family manipulated by his, you know, wife who's a man of color is ridiculous and racist. You know? We've all read Harry's Memoir Spare. We've seen the Harry and Meghan docuseries. Meghan followed Harry's lead on all things, on everything. She followed Harry's, my family, you know, lead on everything. You know? My family. And my family, also don't forget this. It is Prince Harry who kept Meghan away from the carnival of so-called experts who wanted to be around her. Who wanted to have access to her? You know? My family. The thing is, even Prince Harry himself also doesn't allow, you know, my family, you know, any person in the community to have any kind of access to him, you know, and Megan, my family, and also my family, his kids. You know? And my family, they are never going to have any kind of access to my family, Harry, you know, Megan, my family, and Archie, and Lil Pedana. My family, think about this. The Windsors for years now have been trying to destroy Harry Megan for years now and they are still standing. They are still standing. If anybody endures even a fraction of what Harry has had to go through, of what Megan in particular has had to go through, I don't even think you'd be standing. But Harry and Megan are standing, my family. You know? They are standing. And the media can't stand it, man. The media can't stand it. The tabloids and the carnival of so-called experts who are hell-bent in destroying them, in breaking them apart as a couple, they can't stand it. They can't stand it. My family. My family has always been saying, the more Harry and Meghan are living outside of the raw form, are free, the more there are carnival of so-called experts who are going to be throwing tantrums about it. My family. And so right now, I want to hear opinion on what we have just discussed with family. May God bless Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lily Berdana and Doria Raglan, and all of you members of the Squad at Home family. You know? Tina Brown, if Megan was getting things wrong, you'd be happy. You'd be jumping up and down with joy. You'd be celebrating. But you lot are always mourning. You're always whinging. You're always complaining. Which tells me that indeed, Harry and Meghan are heading in the right, my family, direction. My family. And clearly, not back to the UK. Clearly, not back to a toxic environment. Surrounded by people who bully them, abuse them, and target their kids. My family. So my family, I believe I have saved my family enough. You tell me kindly your thoughts, my family, about what we have discussed. May God bless you all, my family, and stay tuned on this video. Love you all forever. And may no weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lilibet, Diana, ever prosper. My family, so please kindly keep praying for Harry, Meghan, and keep wishing them all the best in the world. My family. And my family, kindly please stay tuned on this video. Love you also forever, my family. Tina Brown, Megan is doing well. And you lot have tried so much to break her. You have failed and you'll keep on failing. You will not succeed while Megan will and shall keep on thriving. You know? My family, can you please stay tuned to this video? Love you also forever and may God bless you all. Hello, members of the Scott Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices 
supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.